Hello everyone, my name is Philip Howell and I'm the Acting Senior Tutor at Emmanuel College for this academic year. And obviously this is not the ideal time to take over as Senior Tutor, even if it is temporarily. It's been a very stressful time for everyone concerned, for the staff, but above all for the students who are finding their studies and their lives disrupted, uh, as no one could have predicted uh, at the start of uh, the academic year. It's been a learning experience for, its all, for us all, but it's also an opportunity for me to tell you something about how the university and the college will be as we move forward into the start of what's going to be a virtual uh, Easter term. Now, that's a challenge in itself. The university puts great store on the fact that uh, a university education at Cambridge is about having to be there. That's why we uh, we talk about exiats and we make a, a, a big effort to for students to keep term, as we call it. The idea is that they benefit most from the education here. They benefit most from the social experience. And we have the opportunity to look after their interests, personal and academic, uh, if they are in residence. Now, there are very few students who are now resident in Emmanuel. It's about half a dozen undergraduates and maybe 70 uh, postgraduates, and that's it. So the college will look very different. It'll look very empty um, for the coming weeks and the coming months. Essentially, everything is moving uh, to a virtual platform, and we are having to get used to the fact that our contact with students is now going to be um, having to be done at a distance using the video conferencing facilities that I'm sure all of us have been uh, tutoring ourselves in over the last uh, few weeks. That'll be a challenge, but as far as teaching is concerned, the university is keen that we make this coming Easter term as close to a normal Easter term as possible. That means that uh, we put on the same number and the same type of supervisions that we would normally put on in an Easter term. That means having tutorial meetings, that means having directors of studies meetings, and that means uh, allowing students to have access to the tutorial resources that they would have in a normal uh, year. <clears throat> then there's the question of examining, which is complex. And it's worth just taking a little bit of time to explain to you uh, how that uh, examining and assessment will work uh, this year. Firstly, uh, the decision has been made that for all but finalists, the examinations, the assessments they'll have uh, in the coming term, they will be formative in the U university language rather than summative. That means that the results will be put down on students' transcripts but they won't contribute to their final grade, their final class. Only, only final year students will be classed in the normal way. We also have a situation where we need to think very carefully about the, uh, the disruption to students' studies um, that they've suffered because of the COVID-19 emergency. And the university's response to this is to introduce what it calls a safety net and what elsewhere would be called the principle of no detriment. And what that means is that if the students in their final year exams, if they get a lower class than they had previously received, then the students would get a higher uh, class as their, as their overall assessment. So if a student was awarded a first class overall in the second year uh, and they, uh, they received a 2-1 in the final year, those students would graduate with a first, which seems eminently fair and eminently reasonable. The university is also in um, conversation, in correspondence with the various faculties. They've also made sure that what we're asking of students is less than we would normally ask uh, in, in terms of university exams, in terms of the numbers of questions that students are asked to respond to in an exam. And obviously, a lot of the paraphernalia that some of us who are 
uh, Cambridge University graduates will remember. All of the things that perhaps we look back upon with some, uh, still some terror, uh, proctors patrolling exam halls, for instance, or invigilators barking out how long we've got left, 30 minutes, 10 minutes, five minutes, and stop writing. All those things will be uh, shelved, of course. The exams and the assessments have to move to a virtual uh, system. And what that will mean for many students, not all of them, but for most of them, will be uh, that they will be delivered an exam paper online, of course, and they will be asked to respond to a number of questions within a uh, time window that might be a few hours, it might be a whole 24-hour uh, period. That doesn't mean a 24-hour exam. Uh, but it, what it does mean is that students will have that length of time in what is essentially an open book take-home uh, exam in order to uh, carry out the, um, to, to write responses to those exam uh, questions. There are other forms of assessment and forms of mitigation uh, that need not det detain us here. But essentially that's what the university is going to be moving uh, to, for most students who are here. That might seem relatively generous, but uh, there are some other pressures that come with this for the students, and I don't want to underestimate these. Obviously, students will need the right technology in order to, uh, to respond to uh, exam questions which are posted online. But perhaps more importantly, they need to have some uh, their own space and time. They need to have a desk. They need to have relative quiet. And they need to have peace of mind and security in order to respond effectively. Um, to uh, exam questions. That's not going to be easy, but we hope that we can work with students to try to uh, mitigate whatever difficulties they might find themselves in. The students will be asked if they possibly can to take exams. There are some exceptions and uh, there is the possibility of taking some exams uh, further down the line, uh, but it's in everybody's interest, I think, that students try to take Easter exams if they possibly can. That won't be easy, it won't be straightforward, but it does seem to me that the system that the university has put in place, speaking personally, it seems reasonable to me, and as fair as it possibly can be in these most difficult circumstances. Now, I mentioned before that um, this is my first year as senior tutor, it will be my only year as senior tutor since I'm only doing this temporarily. But the one thing that I was looking forward to was shaking students' hands as they walk out of the Senate House. The senior tutor is usually on hand, you will remember this, uh, to wave a funny hat around and to shake students' hands to congratulate them on finishing their uh, degree and receiving their degree. That was something I was really looking forward to. And even in normal circumstances, we'd have a situation where, because there's a lot of handshaking going on, I know for a fact that senior tutors tend to secrete bottles of hand sanitizer somewhere about their person in their academic robes. We don't need to worry about that this time, uh, but it is a very, very great shame that we won't have a graduation ceremony in uh, the usual uh, at the usual time. We the students are also also missing out on May week, they're also missing out on um, all their end of uh, term, end of year, end of Cambridge rites of passage. That's going to be an awful shame um, and we will try to make it up to students as best we can. We will have a graduation ceremony uh, down the line. We can't schedule it because none of us know quite when that will be, but we will try to make sure that we celebrate the achievements of this year's graduating cohort in the way that they should be celebrated. As I say, we don't have a time for that, but we will make sure that uh, we do this. I look forward to that. I look forward to uh, seeing students again. I'll be standing on the side and hopefully uh, uh, Robert Henderson, who's the usual senior tutor, who will be back in harness by that point. Um, but I, I will look back upon this strange unprecedented year uh, um, and I will try to remember 
just how important it is uh, for students and uh, for everyone else that we make it through. It'll be a chance for us to celebrate uh, getting back to normal. That's it. Um, I'll say no more apart from just to wish everyone, um, to hope that everyone is safe, everyone is um, looking after themselves. We're thinking about you here at Emmanuel and we look forward to welcoming you back in college in person uh, at some point in the future. Thanks very much.